Okay, we're here at uh, gotomath.com and make sure you go up into the web browser and you see where it says gotomath.com. All right, if it doesn't say that, somebody's done stole my web page. All right, we're at calculus and please let me know. We're at, uh, and you can go to contact over here at contact and we'll sue them. All right, and split it. All right, we got uh, calculus, continuity, and one-sided limits. We're in this section right here. It does say copyright. <laughs> oh boy, find an A that makes f of x continuous at x equals A. We have a piecewise function, and here it is. Let's move over to the whiteboard, and let's figure this out. We have f of x is equal to, we have this piecewise function, and of course this is traditionally how we'd write this, and 6 and x is equal to a. So we want to find a. And that means that we want to talk about probably continuity in this problem. Um, that's actually where we're going at with this. So let me sketch out what this graph looks like. All right, and we're going to see there's a hole there. Undefined place. We're going to say this is A. Right? And what is this going to be over here is the question. Actually, so this up here, this part of the function fx equal to x, represents this line right here. All right. It says that x cannot equal a. Obviously, that's the reason there's a hole in the graph. But what we're going to do here is, is we're going to do this. We're going to look at continuity. So a, okay, we've got to make this continuous is what we're going to have to do here. f of a is equal to, it's the only place we can use a right here, is equal to 6, right? And then the limit as x approaches a of f of x that's going to also be equal to 6. But this part here is going, we're going to be using this part of the function up here. So I'm going to rewrite this as the limit as x approaches a of x, that's where our function goes, is equal to what? Well, we just do direct substitution, right? Plugging a directly into the function and you get a out, right? You get a out. Um, okay, and so that means that these two numbers here must be equal, okay? These two numbers here must be equal, um, right? So 6 must be equal to A, but I could just write A right here. How's that? Write A right there. Now for con continuity sake, that these, in order for this to be continuous, these two guys here must be equal and the only way that's going to happen is, is 6 is equal to a well there you go 6 is equal to a so this must be 6 right here All right? they're both equal now it's continuous so that means that a is equal to 6 man does that make any sense a is equal to 6 so in other words, we'd fill in this dot then right here because it's six, at x is 6, then it's 6. All right. So really all you had to do was is do the direct substitution right here, plugging a directly into the function. And of course, I mean, what are you going to get? I mean, you're obviously going to get a right here. Okay. Right, f of x is equal to x, but when you plug a into it, you get a. All right, there it is.